So one of my most viewed videos is, I think, I don't know what if it's titled Why Do People Have Kids or something like that. And this is kind of a follow-up video to that video coming through the lens of the, you know, seeing it through the, the lens of the year 2020, which is kind of like, a, <clears throat> I guess I'm kind of, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a I told you so kind of a video or see what I mean kind of video. I don't mean to gloat too much, but I mean it's years like this that really fucking back up my point I made in that video and really reinforce my decision and I'm just like I'm, I haven't been more grateful of you know that decision I made to never have kids myself than I am this year because what they're putting everyone fucking through not to mention the kids and what's to follow for the kids I mean we can't even fucking imagine um, and oh fuck <clears throat> I just feel so fucking bad for the kids to be honest I can't I can't see why anyone would choose to have kids after September 11th, 2001, to be perfectly honest. And as I stated back in my original Why Do People Have Kids video, or whatever the hell it's called, I acknowledged, obviously, the, f the well-known fact that the majority of kids that are conceived, most likely, you know, beyond 50%, maybe 60, maybe 65, maybe 70% or more, of everyone who's conceived and is born are not planned. So I'm talking about, and you know, I'm not attacking them, although I kind of feel like, well, abortion is, a, is definitely a more merciful option than having to have the kid live a life in this fucked, fuck world, which has really, you know, which was previously a fuck world, which has this year really, really, you know, I thought, it, we all thought it was a fuck world before. I mean, it was fucking, you know, Mr. Rogers land before this year. Now... It's really fuck world. So what I was saying was, anyone who chose, you know, who chose to have kids after September 11th, 2001, knowing the fucking pathetic world we lived in at that time, of course, I guess it depends on your point of view. If you believe the official story and you think we were attacked by people in caves, but still, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on. If you believe the story or if you don't believe the story, Either way, you slice 2000, uh, September 11, 2001, it, it, it's a negative event. So, would you really want your child in a world where those kind of things can happen, whether they're as supposedly happened as they were stated in the media, or the real version of what goes on? So, regardless of either which way it happened, it was a negative event, and then the things, of course, that happened uh, after by, you know, the world governments and shit, and, and, and changing many ways in which, you know, people are, things are done and, and people are treated and stuff like that. Um, not to mention the, the just droves and droves of young people who were shipped off to go kill people and die themselves in the name of that day. But I'm just saying that anyone who chose to have a kid after 2000, you know, 9-11-2001 was kind of stupid to begin with. I mean, you're stupid to bring a kid into, you know, a pre-2001 world, but really stupid to bring a kid in, you know, a post-2001 world. And one thing I'm really sad about is just imagine if people, you know, I, I, would, I would hope that the planned pregnancy rate has dropped considerably this year because if there's people who are still planning on starting a family this year like now or anytime after whatever March and April and shit those people really should just be basically put in jail for you know it's kind of like that movie uh, pre-crime minority report put in jail for you know, future child abuse, because the child abuse you're going to do is you're going to have a kid 
after the year 2020. That's, that's it. Child abuse. Bam. You don't even have to touch the kid. Just conceiving a kid after fucking, you know, in, in the year of 2020 or beyond is fucking child abuse because the shit that they're going to grow up in, the fucking pathetic world that they're going to grow up in is going to be so fucking pathetic that it's it's just not even <laughs> it's not even fucking funny so i guess this is kind of a follow up to you know it's like an i told you so video um to, you know my follow up to the one from i don't know when the hell i did it 2014 maybe i mean there's there's really no way to even nowhere to even start when it comes to talking about the patheticness and the the absolute patheticness of 2020 as a as a year and what we've all been put through um and like i say I, I, you know, this this video is about you know the kids children why do people and yeah i know a lot of people don't like <laughs> when people use the word kids, but tough shit, I use the word kids. Um, why do people have kids slash children? And it's just like, oh my God, I really, really hope that people are going to put any plans of starting a family at least on hold, and then hopefully when they realize that shit isn't going to get any better as next year arrives and the year after, what, how, how, you know, I mean, it's just going to keep getting, you know, life's just going to keep getting worse. And, and the rules just stacked upon rules and stacked upon rules and stacked upon restrictions and new rules and new, all this shit that comes from all these fucking events that they fucking create and, you know, and or stage. As always, I was probably all over the place. But it's like press record and just start rambling is is what I generally do. Um, I just feel so bad for the kids. And my girlfriend has two teenagers. And, um, you know, it's probably fair to say this is the worst life or the worst year of their life so far, I would imagine. And I just, oh my God, I just feel so... Oh, and another thing, uh, my girlfriend hasn't even seen, because of this, the horseshit of this year, hasn't even seen one of her children since, I think, April? Or maybe, it, no, it was probably March. So as a result of this pathetic year, not only are the kids, you know, the, the kids' lives suck, most likely, but she hasn't even been, been able to see one of her children since march and probably who knows might not see her again i mean i don't know you know so i mean it's just it's absolutely fucking you know i think it's un obviously this is a word that even the mainstream was using at the beginning of all this shit unprecedented times and it's just like fuck you know i mean i'm fucking you know, my mid, you know, approaching mid 40s, I've lived, I, I just feel so grateful to have lived, you know, pretty much my life, more or less. I mean, anything at, after this is more or less just bonus, you know, I just feel so grateful that I was able to live the majority, um, you know, or my quote unquote best years before this fucking year came around because, like, my girlfriend's kids. Who are teenagers I mean the the world that they're gonna spend the rest of their life in and, and their adulthood and, and everything is gonna be so worse than <laughs> what their life has been up till now I guess the only comfort I can say in regards to children in this catastrophe of this year and moving forward is I guess the earlier a change happens, the more easy it is to adapt to it, I guess. Um, but at the same time, I mean, if you're like in your 
mid to late teens and you know you're used to a certain kind of life and then all of a sudden you're you're thrown this huge paradigm shift i can't i i don't know i can't speak for teenagers and and how it affects how this year affects them you know i can only speak for someone being approaching their mid 40s and you know i mean in theory the 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 you know the the shorter time you've spent here before the big change the easier the big change should be but i mean that's not going to be you know a fact that just goes straight across the board it's a shit show year for everyone and uh like i say it's 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 not going to end it's probably going to get worse and get worse just because they, the ones who control the world and control the media and control governments, it's what they have planned out to do. I don't, I don't mean a, a supposed communicable disease spreading wildly over the, you know, country or the world. I'm talking about, you know, they, they write the script and they execute the script all on their screens um, because that's how they inform us, the masses, the, the peasants, um, about what they want people to think is happening. So I guess we'll pretty much leave it there. Thank you very much for listening, and I guess we'll see you next time.